very um, interesting uh, movie, and I, you know, it caught my. I, I loved um, uh, the uh, Cape Fear. I thought that was uh, it was a very scary movie, but you know, I don't mind scary movies, so I, I quite like that as uh, you know. As a, and, and again, I think De Niro's in that, so I think I might. Uh, he might be my favourite actor. Any any, any sports oriented movie you've seen so far? Something which got that 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 sportsman spirit and. You know, something like that, like like Rocky. Field of Dreams. I like Rocky, but I like Field. I like the first Rocky. I like Field of Dreams, okay. um, which was um, about baseball. That that was a terrific movie. Okay. I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Okay. Um, and you also want? How about Hindi movies? You've been in India for a long time. I only now. watched a few. Okay. Um, yeah, but I've got to get Lagan. In fact, I just bought Lagan. Okay. Um, and there was another one I bought uh, the last trip, but I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I've sort of well, my life's very busy at the moment. So. But do you understand the language a little bit? No, no, not much. It's <laughs> only, only when I need to. <laughs> okay, okay. So you you probably read the subtitles and you try and figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not. Uh, yeah, you know, I can't really sort of uh, put too many Hindi words together. Okay, except cricket, which other sports uh, you are interested in and you would like to play when you are free, except cricket. Um, I, I didn't play many other sports. I played a, a thing that most people in India wouldn't remember or, or know much about. Sorry, uh, is called Australian Rules Football. Okay. Um, it's a very tough game. Um, I played that right at the age of 16, 17, and then obviously cricket uh, took over. Okay. Uh, my father was a very good uh, Australian Rules footballer. Okay. Um, other than that, I just generally did uh, athletics at school. Um, but no, I didn't pick up golf or anything like that. I, I like golf, but it doesn't like my back. Oh, and how were you when you were in school? How were you in study? <laughs> was studies also a priority or was it sports all the way? What did I do at school? When you were in school days, was, was studies also right up there or was it more of sports all the time? <coughs> no, I didn't like study. I, <laughs> any chance to play sport, okay. I did. But, uh, you know, I, I was one of those those kids that squatted for the last two weeks before the exam, okay. just to get through. Okay. Um, and I also did, uh, I joined the bank after school, okay. up, you know, up, straight after school, and, and I went to night school for accountant, uh, doing accountancy for a couple of years. So, okay. um, I have an accounting, part accounting background, so okay. I, I like working with numbers. Accounting? Yeah. Okay. It's so boring, I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice twist you have uh, from... Uh, uh, Australian football to accounting and then for to be one of the best, uh, I mean, uh, baseballers this world has seen. What a, what, a, what a nice change you got in the life. Yeah, look, I, you know, you, you sort of, uh, I suppose, I probably, if not for cricket, um, I would be in the bank right now, probably a bank manager in, uh, you know, somewhere in a country town in, in Australia. So you know, with the one player in the team, Maru. Who shares the same thing? I, I asked him this question: What would I, what you would you have been in life in case you wouldn't have been a cricketer? And he said, I would have uh, become a banker. Mm. So there's one thing which you share with one of, one of your teammates. Yeah, yeah, no, that's um, you know that was my destiny. Okay. Um, and in fact, uh, I left, left the bank at uh, 23 years of age and uh, went out into the big world and uh, you know sort of started getting into business. So how has been all these cricketing years uh, as, as a baller, then playing for Australia, and now coaching at the Emirates Peace Foundation, one of the biggest coaching foundations in the world, which has produced one of the top most ballers this world has ever seen. Mm-hmm. So how is this thing? How, is this, how do you feel about that? You are the man who actually made Emirates Foundation whatever it is today. I think it wasn't just me. I mean, I obviously uh, bought uh, you know all the knowledge and technique for fast bowling. Um, to MRF and therefore to India and I think it's nice that you can leave a legacy um, okay. in your life and uh, if, I mean I've been lucky enough I, I play good cricket too but I think one, one of the legacies that I feel that I've left which um, will continue on is the, the art of fast bowling in fact okay. the fact that we've, uh, we've um, I guess um, led the way uh, in Australia with it and led the way in the world and in particular in India where there wasn't a history of, uh, of great fast bowlers in other words I mean I'm talking very fast bowlers you know you, you had Kapil, Kapil who was one of the greatest uh, medium fast swing, swing bowl, medium pace medium fast swing bowlers but express there was uh, no real express bowlers and I think on the world circuit you've got to have guys that bowl 140 plus but you know to unless they swing the ball up like a Kapil um, 
to uh, to really exploit uh, you know batsmen around the world on all types of wickets.